I found another one of those little joints that makes these little pastries. Check it out. They're back in there. They're at, they're at it. I got one. It uses the purple sweet potato. Inside is some yolk. And let's go examine and see what we got here. I've never tried one of these. I've never actually seen one. They look delicious. There's a line of people. Let's go check it out. Um, all right, we'll post up right here and we'll have a quick snack. All right, hi, <laughs> how you doing? All right, yeah. there it is. It comes like a little cube. It's almost like a pancake. Inside is like um, purple uh, sweet potato. Let's see what it find. Let's find out what it tastes like. Oh man, that's good. Oh man, check it out. Like you can see the flakiness, almost like a pancake. Then you have the the purple potato, and then inside is like a custardy yolk. Try it out. Mm. Oh man. Delicious. It's not overbearing. It's not too sweet. Man. I'm not sure what it is called. What are they called? Shush and Ma. Nito Gao. Nito Gao. Nito Gao. What would really make this nice is a sweet cup of coffee. That's what I'm going to go find. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the lay of the land here and how this works. So if you look at our table right here, this giant hole is where they're gonna put, oh, that's Big Dog. <laughs> Say hi, Kevin. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? That's the Big Dog. I'm out here in Beijing having, who's this little girl? What do you got there? All right. A little noodle grabber. All right, so here comes the food. As I was explaining, what goes here is a giant uh, uh, bubbling water boil of a uh, hot and spicy soup. And then what you do is they bring over the food right here, raw. And then you're gonna cook it inside that hot boiling water. That's why this style of food is called hot pot. Um, <laughs> look at this uh, display. Wow. Where's the beef? Looks delicious. We're about to get in, the soup's coming. It's gonna be awesome. Good food, baby. Yeah, they're very good. Quality of the meat is very good. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. It's very good. All right, so the soup broth has arrived. And look at this bag of spiciness he is pouring into the one side. Um, one really cool thing about this is if you don't like spicy food, you can go to the other side, which is this side. If you like super spicy, it's right here. And then this little sauce in the middle, that's mushroom soup, and you're supposed to drink it first. And what it is is a special broth that helps with your intestines and helps clean um, your intestines out before the food starts arriving, before the spice gets here. Check this out. Mm. That's why you go inside. Mm. All right, so look at this uh, delicious condiment place. You come over here and you make your own sauce. We got stuff like uh, the peanut butter sauce. We got uh, my favorite, which right, right here, it's, it's like some type of mushroom sauce. Um, we have uh, cucumbers, other hot pickled stuff, all kinds of spices. This one's good. That is actual MSG. So if you like MSG, you can add as much as you want here. Um, yeah, so this is like the little bar where you can get, you know, I'm actually come up here for cucumbers. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some cucumbers because this is a Sichuan style. So um, the food is really hot, and um, these cucumbers help cool down the, the burning sensation 
of not only the peppers, but they have this little pepper corn called the huaja. And it's a little tiny, like, numbing pepper. And it's good, but in small doses. So if you eat it a lot, um, you need these cucumbers to help cool things off. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we got going on here. One of the cool things about this restaurant is how awesome the self-service is here. If you, um, well, it's kind of like the magic globe. All I do is snap my finger and chopsticks appear. Whoa, whoa, that is a hot piece of carrot. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing that stinks about this restaurant is just waiting for it to boil. You get so hungry, the food's right in front of you. I got my sauces, I'm ready to roll. I even got a little thing of fried rice. Um, wow, look at the smoke coming from this thing. Check it out, this is the mushroom soup. That was the mineral. Look at the broth on this thing. And the spring onions, just give it that extra little bit of flavor. And I've been standing out walking around the Forbidden City in the cold for about four hours. So uh, my body temperature will definitely uh, love to have some of this mushroom soup here. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh, wow. That is delicious. Look at this. Oh, man. It's like a mushroom caramel. Like There's some sweetness to it. There's some funky mushroom taste to it. It's warm, it's soothing my body. Sichuan hot pot. Hen hao shi. All right, now I'm gonna take you and show you a little bit of each food that is gonna be going in. So we have, ooh, look at this one. Seaweed. Janet. Ooh. Fresh one. Hello. Very good, from deep sea. Look at that, giant chunks of seaweed. Ooh, it makes my skin and hair look great. All right, moving on. We got, oh, hey, what do you got? Cucumber. Oh, you want to show them the cucumber? Oh, this is special. All right, cucumber. Oh, wow, look That's at these. That's beef meatball. Oh, beef. Beef meatballs. Beef meatballs? Hey, you don't like it a spicy meatball. <laughs> All right, we have this delicious thing. It is called... Tongwa. And it is uh, some type of vegetable. Um, kind of like a watermelon, actually. We have uh, the slabs of beef. These are beef. What's that, Janet? Look at this. Uh, lunch meat. It mm. tastes brilliant in the hot pot. So we got spam going in the hot pot. That's fried rice. Look at you can you can see all the sections starting to boil and get ready for the yumminess, the, the deliciousness, the tasty food. What is this? That's mushroom. We call it see you tomorrow. Do you know why? <laughs> yes, Ming Tian Jian. Okay, that was the mushroom. Um, Ming Tian Jian means uh, see you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, taking a look at that mushroom. Let's give another look. You can see why it's called. Ming Tian Jian. <laughs> we won't get into that any much further. We're about to eat. Um, this is kind of cool. Um, what is this one? Bamboo. Bam. This is. I'm going to show you a, a different style of bamboo. Ming Tian Jian. Kind of looks like some kind of melon. And then we got over here. We have lamb. And another style of bamboo, it's like the, the sheath, the outer, the thin layer on the outside of the bamboo root. Oh, it's getting full just talking about it. <laughs> yep. This is the bamboo. Very delicious. Alright, look at this. The thin sliced beef going in the pot. <laughs> oh, it's on. Give it a couple of seconds, and then uh, we'll go ahead and dip in our sauces. Let me show you what sauce I got. I made this one from uh, mushroom and spring onions. This one 
I'm not quite too sure what it is. And this one is my peanut butter uh, superstar deluxe. Uh, so I have peanut butter cream base with a little bit of crunched peanut butter on top and then a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Check it out. All right, so first I'm gonna try the peanut butter one. Now it's time for this bamboo stock. Mm mm mm. 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 Mixed with the peanut butter sauce, it tastes like Captain Crunch. All right, all right, all right. Still going. About an hour into the meal, and a wise woman once said to me, "The beauty of the hot pot is that you can take a little bit, and then uh, you can get back into it when you feel a little bit." hungrier or something like that. Yeah, that, that's what she meant. Yeah, you get like food drunk. Man. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm still going. I got more beef. We haven't even touched the lamb, the Don Juan. And my mother's flowers. <laughs> Holy moly, catch a tolly. Oh, that's gonna do it. I'm about to put the chopsticks down for the first time. I've been sitting here for, well, hour and 45 minutes, maybe hour and a half, just stuffing my gullet, making my face all bunched up. And wow, let me give you a look at the destruction that just happened. Well, there you see it and wow and that's gonna conclude this dinner so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you saw some foods here that you wanted to try and most importantly I hope you were inspired to try Sichuan hot pot this is an epic tasty delicious food it's an experience that everyone should try I'm travel man Dan remember it's a big world out there make sure you see every bit of it